rain, but it's gone too far. What's up, guys? Um, got the message. So, one thing is that I think that one of the things holding people back is censorship. Um, copyright infringement and things like they pass laws. I say I, I try not to be too us and they or me and you. It's like you know we're all kind of working on this together. Um, they and here I, I just do it naturally now. There was a phase where I wasn't doing it very much, and now I'm kind of back into it. But anyway, these people that pass these laws are like they they set it up so that they pass a law that does something that's like really morally obligatory, you know. Um, or reprehensible or horrible or whatever you want to call it. So, what is it? The pen is mightier than the sword? I mean, if you get a lot of people believing something, that's pretty powerful. Really like what, you know, this is why I'm into like open source software like Minds. Like, YouTube won't post a soldier getting blown apart, as far as I know. If someone had that footage and, and tried to upload it, I don't think YouTube would would leave it up, I don't think. I don't know what site that kind of stuff would be on. I think Minds is a great site for that because it's, you know, that's the point, just to get the horror of reality, the hidden horrors in the public eye so that they stop happening or that they change into whatever people want to change them into. And I think that's it, you know? We each have our personal agenda. My agenda is like, really, you know, not, not, I'm not really amb. I'm not like I don't want power. I mean, what is power? It's, it's perception. If you think, if people think you're powerful, you're powerful. So like, I got my my personal agenda, which is live as long as you can and be healthy and help people when they're not expecting it. Help them when they're expecting it. And. Uh, my global agenda, my, my unified agenda, is an open, free evolution where people don't need to talk to each other to communicate. And it's like it's like from the pod back into the pod. Obviously, we're, maybe we're not going there. Maybe we'll always. But no, like what if we're in deep space? We're not going to have. You know, what radios? What if our radios go out? Like we have to learn how to communicate without talking. Um. It's very integral part of nature. And I think a lot of uh, the problems will fall away when we start to really connect. So maybe like we'll be the next generators. Like we'll get into fucking Pakistan and bring a camera. I mean, it sounds dangerous as fuck going into a war zone to document it. You can document it from far away. There's something about being there when the bombs are going off. Or like, you know, Harry Fear, he was doing this Ustream in Gaza. I'll put a link to his shot. And I think I will check out Apocalypse now. Alright. See you.